gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. Morning, truck buddies. Airborne trucker checking in from uh, the house, man. So, of course, finished up late Friday, close to eight o'clock, and uh, wasn't able to get loaded. So, I gotta go get loaded today. I'm assuming I have the same dispatch. You know, I guess I'll find out here in about an hour or once I go pick up. Um, they start around about eight. I can't remember if it's seven or eight. They're receiving and their shipping hours are, are totally different. But I'm gonna head on up here to end steel, get this wire mesh. Now there's a good chance I won't be able to deliver today. I think they stop at uh, two o'clock. And by the time I get loaded and on the road, ain't gonna make it. So, but uh, we'll see, man. A anything can happen. Had a good time this weekend. It was well deserved. You know, like I said, uh, my wife's birthday was last Tuesday, so we had to celebrate over the weekend. Like I said, I got home late Friday. I wanted to go down to the Keys, but we ended up going down to Clearwater. Went on there for the day, sat on the beach. It was awesome. You know, you gotta have you some chairs, a cooler, and something to block that sun. We found a, uh, a tent like a beach tent for 50 bucks out of Sam's. And it was it was on time, man. It's like the perfect size for two chairs and a cooler. It was it was awesome, man, because some folks can sit on that beach all day, man. And just you get burnt. That's crazy to me. But uh that's all we did. Swung by damn hard rock. Donated in there. As you can see, I didn't win, so I'm taking my, my tail to work. But um, got back like three o'clock this morning, man. Got like a, a real late start heading back. But um, whatever, man. You know, like I said, slept for about three and a half, four hours and do it all over again. You know, heavy is the head that wears the crown, man. Like I say, you won't. Don't complain too much about it. Just it is what it is, man. Wife asking like, "You looked sleeping when I was checking out the hotel yesterday." Like, yeah, I'm sleeping. I'm tired. Now my plan was to take a nap on the beach because it was—I mean, it was—it was perfect, man. But um, I was trying to upload the video that I uploaded yesterday. It took a while. It's like about an hour. Now I try to post every day, but sometimes the content's not there, so I, I have to hold on to it, and then I just end up holding on to it to the end of the week. But it's easier to digest a daily video, you know, if it's, uh, you no know, 15, 20 minutes compared to a freaking hour. Uh, you know, I know some of the subscribers you like, you know, you like the longer content. And then you got some that like just, you know, I want just enough. And I'm the type of person I want just enough. Uh, so I got to kind of get better at doing that. Like I said, you know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You know, I guess for a daily, like about 20 minutes, like I said, you, you can consume that real quick, you know, but an hour, you got to dedicate a whole hour, huh, unless you, you know you're bored, you ain't got nothing to do, a whole hour to watch somebody and their, and their adventures. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. I appreciate it. I really do. You know, y'all could be anywhere, but y'all choose to hang with me and I appreciate it. But we're gonna go ahead and go on down the end steel and uh, get loaded. I said it's wire mesh. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any footage of that. It just depends on what it is and and if it if it gets too hot, my I'll tell you, man, my phone cuts off, which you know it's a it's a freaking phone and it's 80 degrees in Florida, so what do you expect? But uh, if I can try to get some footage, I'll try to get some footage of it, you know. But uh, this week, I think my wife made me uh, some beef stir fry and beef and broccoli. So I have that for the week. Like said, that's how you save your money, man. You just try to meal prep the best that you can. 
know, it's a lot healthier and it's cheaper, usually. So, I'm going to see how this week works out, man. Like I said, it's still early. Like I said, you can't never get too high or too low, man. Like I said, I'm kind of starting behind, but who knows what happens. Now, I was kind of halfway planning to stay out this week, but um, looking at the yard, man, I got to cut the grass, and it, it, it's not going to be able to take another two weeks. You know, the plan was to down uh, cut it Friday when I got home, but of course I got home too late. Man, it went from cutting it, you know, Friday when I got home to um, cutting it Sunday when it, when we got back, but got back too late. And it's too early right now to cut it because it's like, you know, 7.30. It's too early to be running a lawnmower, even though most people might be gone or, you know, heading to work or whatnot. That's just a little too early to be running a lawnmower, so. I tried to do it this weekend, but uh, let's see what happens, man. Hopefully, y'all had a good weekend, had a good time. You know, like I say, man, time waits for no one. Father Time is undefeated. Things could change in a blink of an eye, so you kind of can't take nothing for granted. this truck loaded double check my email see if the dispatch changed which I'm sure it hasn't uh, I don't think anybody's in the office just yet it probably won't be in the office for about another hour but I do want to head up there and get in line get loaded and see what happens see what happens alright truck buddies let's get this week started with a bang All right, so I got plenty of time, man. Stop, get the Peter clean, get it all washed up. Um, daggone vacuum's not working, so go figure. But I just swept it out. I'll do my floors once I stop for the night. Uh, do my rugs. Get everything good to go, man. So now I'm, I'm off the naughty list, you know. I think uh got in at a good hour. So you can't beat it, man. Just get your credit and keep it moving. Keep, get your credit and keep it moving, man. Like I said, but if you're paying, go ahead and know, raise a little stink, but I like to get my credit and keep it moving. So like I said, I'll do my floors once I stop for the night. Morning, truck buddies. Everyone trucker checking in from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So this is why you trip plan. All right, now, I had a different delivery address on the paperwork and on the dispatch. So of course I called the number on the damn uh, paperwork. Couldn't get really a, a definite answer. So I should have checked back in with my fleet manager. But what I should have did was I should have called the store directly. Now in theory, it's a job site, but I guess it ain't coming out this way. So now I got to venture back. I mean, it's only, I trip plan for that. It's only 10 miles. So it ain't no big deal. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. But when you don't know, just stop. Look for somebody to ask some questions. So now I'm in a situation. I got to get out of here. But I move those cones. I'm a straight line back and turn left out. Go the way that I came in here and leave out. Now, of course, now I'm having problems with my truck. Now, sometimes parking up can get the best of you. Uh, either way. All right, cranked up that time. There has been an issue while I've heard with these... Uh, the shifter's going bad, so I might my shifter might be going out, or I'm just it might be a short or something like that. But yeah, man. So even if I would have parked up, I still would have had to leave. Now, like I said, what I should have did was I fought myself. I don't fault anybody but myself. Um, I should have damn called the actual store, the actual ship to address, and verify with them. The guy put me on hold and was like, "Nah, nah, just go ahead and bring it here." After about you no know, a minute or two on hold, 
but ain't no big deal. I got to go the same way I came in and go nine miles down the road. So let's get her done. All right, so 10 miles, 30 minutes later, I got to where I needed to be at. Like I said, it falls on me because I should have called them directly. If I'd have called them directly, I would have known and I would have been here first thing this morning. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but we're here now and uh, just gonna wait to see how they're gonna do this. If I was a bet, man, it's gonna take about at least another hour to unload. So even if I would have parked up at that job site last night, I still would have to leave. But like I said, I should have did my due diligence and called the store directly and uh, just to verify the delivery address because it still happens that, you know, it's the correct address, but they want it to go straight to the job site so they don't have to move it twice. Um, but, hey, it happens, man. Might as well get used to it. So, we'll see how long it takes to get unloaded with this wire mesh. Uh, cause it's always a good time, man. Uh, as you can see, they got two little forklifts, so it's <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. Uh, and they didn't have parking. Well, I can notice that last night, too, so... Um, me still stopping at that rest area worked out pretty good. Um, cause I, I still would have been less than 30 miles, give or take, uh, from the delivery. So, wait my turn to get unloaded and see where we're heading next. miles later went to Gerdau Steel picked up now you can only be here 30 minutes before your appointment it won't let you check in you will be rerouted out of here all right so when you don't have dunnage if you don't have you know anything extra to make a bulkhead you can use your tarps all right that's that's the best thing I can use right now because I have no dunnage I use all my dunnage to get loaded all right but usually I have I'll put my dunnage here to make my bulkhead use my two tarps Got three bellies. I use 11 straps, uh, alternate your straps. They say it don't take long to tarp a freaking a perfect box, man. 30 minutes, man. 30 minutes, you're gonna be in and out. I was here long enough to do my damn another two hour break, but of course, you don't, you can only get one pause in. That's it. So that's that there. Did my bellies, did uh, three bellies. Like I said, 11 straps, alternate your straps. It's like 48,000 pounds. Now, truck buddy up there, he's digging around. He was here before me. And he's just now doing whatever he's doing, walking around doing something, being nosy, I guess. But whatever, ain't got nothing to do with me. So like I said, that's what that looks like. Uh, two lumbers. If you use your steel, if, you, if it's a no tarp load, you can use your steel tarps. Just use something to have forward protection, all right? That, I've got an old Benson, so I had to use a two inch strap. I couldn't use my damn, uh, my one winch that's right here. Couldn't use that one, because they stop, that rail stops here. All right, so it'd be like right there, where, that's where you can put your first, uh, your first strap. You need two pieces of securement in the first five feet. All right, so I've got like 100 miles to go. Um, more than likely gonna stop and get a shower. I can't get unloaded today. It's 2.45. I need to be here uh, when I got here at like 11.30 and got loaded right away. But that didn't happen. So it's not too busy. Usually it gets busy here. You know, you need to do what you gotta do and move out, man. You can't be here digging around in, in the way taking up space like this other guy is in front of me. That's why I made sure I left just enough room so I can get out and go around him because he's doing whatever. But that's what that looks like, man. Like I said, if I would have had dunnage, I would use my dunnage.
100 miles, do there about 5 o'clock. Alright, so I didn't make it. This close. This close. But hey, it happens, man. Uh, now, if I didn't have that 1 o'clock appointment, um, or if I was able to load right away when I got there at 11.30, I would have made it. Uh, Cause like I said, that hour made a difference. Now, my fleet manager was trying to do me a solid because he's like, hey, if you if you get there before they close, they'll, they'll go ahead and take you. Now I was I was hoping and praying, but uh, like I said, that one hour set me back because I got here as a TMC truck getting unloaded. So I'm guessing he got here probably right at the time. <clears throat> but um, I was pre-planned on uh, to go to uh, CMC still to go to Virginia quick little run could have delivered that you no know, picked up delivered tomorrow and kind of been back on track i would have been let's see yeah i would have been more on track if i was able to uh get that load tonight and deliver tomorrow so i had been back catching up with the revenue but hey man things happen for a reason so i can't get upset about it like i said that's the chance i took but i was going to take this load regardless of the fact because it was literally the least amount of miles for the same amount of money for all the three options that I had. I had one going to Florida, one going to Georgia, and then of course this one going to South Carolina. And they all paid about the same. Uh, not the same amount of miles, but you know, in theory this one paid more because it was less miles. So they got parking. Uh, I guess I'm at the right gate. I'll try to holler at TMC on the radio, but of course it wasn't on, so I'm just assuming I'm at the right gate. I'm assuming I pull in there. It doesn't look like it, but I guess that's where I pull into. So, if not there, it's, it's the next door or next bay door that's open. Um, took most, took some of my straps off. Took you know most of my bungees off. Leave the tarp on. Make sure you know you got enough bungees on there to hold the tarp down. Take the tarp off in the morning. Like I said, you don't need a load claim. I'm trying to save dag on 30 minutes. Uh, by taking the tarp off too early. So I'll do that. Probably um have some dinner and I'm gonna turn on my TV and see if I have any channels. Uh shout out to all my truck buddies I keep running into man. It, it, I'm telling you man it's funny man but uh it's it's good man guy at, uh where I got unloaded this morning <clears throat> he's like are y'all required to uh, uh record all your your unloads and loads I said no I'm uh, I said, I've got a YouTube channel I was like, hey, we got a YouTuber in here. I said, hey, man, I want my cut, man. I said, man, I make about, I make beer money. That's literally about it. So I get you a six pack. <laughs> but it's all good, though. I mean, it was a little slow, man, but someplace you're going to go like that, man. It's just, just, it's not that they're moving slow. It's just some things just don't line up for you. So if I would have got there first thing this morning, instead of being the third truck, I'd probably have been the first truck. But think about being the first truck, I would have been in the way. But they was like, they don't care. But um, it worked out how it was supposed to work out. I was the third truck. They unloaded the box truck. They unloaded the flatbed. They had rebar. And then they pulled me in. And then about, about an hour later, uh, Jordan pulled over some more rebar. So they, they pulled him in and got him unloaded. So it worked out how it was supposed to work out, man. Just Like I said, a lot of things you got no control over. Just leave it for what it is, man. I'm telling you, some things you're going to damn be getting frustrated about. You've got no control over, you know. Like I say, it would have been great if I could have got unloaded tonight and you know went on down to CMC Steel. But hey, it just it wasn't that it wasn't and it didn't work out that way. Because now of course me thinking out loud, it won't it wouldn't have happened like that because that's just how it is. Um I don't can't remember what part of Virginia it was. Let's see. It was Cedar Bluff, Virginia. Now, I don't know where that's at, but me thinking out loud, Cedar Bluff, Virginia, tomorrow's Wednesday, grab that, grab uh, some paper going back to Palaka. Like I said, that's just me thinking out loud. The only thing about that is, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday. No, it would have worked. It would have worked because it was 300 miles loaded. So I would have pretty much got there tonight, almost there tonight. Then um, 
delivered in the morning, reload the paper. That's if that was available. You know, that's just me thinking out loud. And deliver Thursday, have enough time to get another shorty and deliver that. But hey, it's whatever, man. So enough rambling. Like I said, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Um, another fun filled day in the books. Uh, guess I'll have some dinner. Take my boots off and get comfortable. We'll see you in the morning. Truck buddies, airborne trucker checking in from uh, uh let's see, where did I go to? Somewhere here in South Carolina. Uh, so if you look in the video, damn, uh, had to back up. Now the, the sign on the gate says go all the way to the last gate. All right, don't block the gate. And that's what I did. Another truck pulled up. He's been here a few times. He was like, hey, you know, you got to back into that gate right there. Now, when I seen a TMC truck yesterday getting unloaded, he didn't say nothing. Thought he'd did me a solid. I'm like, hey man, you gotta put, you gotta back into that gate that I was just in, and I've been ready to go. And there was a worker, me not thinking, sitting at the gate. It was after hours though. It was about probably six. I was still fooling with my straps and stuff, and. uh see him sitting in the chair now i mean not thinking what i should have did was another mistake of me should have asked him like hey what time do y'all start in the morning that way i'd have been ready to go and i want to put up so close to the front and having those guys you know because you know you see one truck you're just gonna pull up behind the other truck but once i seen the other guy pull up he's like no nah, man you're gonna get unloaded back there that's how i knew like okay i messed up but it wasn't no big deal the last guy he had to just uh back up a little bit and then um i went ahead and uh back then as you can see i lost my mud flap no big deal but when you have a benson when you drop the air in the benson it goes real low so if you're going through the parking lot or you just dump and you hear you got your your air dumped you hear some dragging extra mud flaps because the benson goes back at an angle all right so i gotta put my flap on no big deal that's why you keep tools on the truck Another thing I want to talk about is why you shouldn't send your empty in early. Now, if I would have got here, like some drivers do sometimes, you get parked for the night and uh, you think you're going to get ahead of the game, send your empty in, but guess what? You don't see in a system that you already have a, a pre plan once you get empty. So, you send your empty in, you know, you about to you know, go 10 toes up. You hear, you, must, you, hear, you hear your computer go off, and you're supposed to go pick up. The place I was pre-planned on, uh, they load 24-7. Load so if I would said I was empty, uh, it would have been a problem. Because I would have missed that pickup, and they would have been like, hey, you said you're empty, but you're not empty. Why don't you go pick up this load yet? And they would see when I got my time back and whatnot. So... Them the kind of things you gotta think about when you think you're trying to get ahead of the system. Like I said, don't hurt to wait to send your empty in. It, it has, like I said, you're gonna do it, just do it first thing in the morning or whenever the case might be. But don't do it the night before. They put you on a load and they dispatch you, and you're looking crazy. But yeah, man, always keep tools on your truck, man. Um, this calls for this mud flap is a. Uh, 7 16 it all depends on what bolts they use i guess since this is an older trailer they've got um the smaller bolts on here but it's a quick fix though guy had asked me man i see you drop lost your mud flap when you got any tools so, yeah i keep tools i appreciate it though gotta keep them tools on you man and i ain't talking about no pistol all right so it's a little five minute fix when you got your tools ready.
when you have a little bit of tools. Like I said, you don't need a whole bunch of tools, man. This is just some basic. You know, you can get a probably about 40 bucks. You can get a, a decent little tool set up that. Probably not, like I said, not even that much. You just want something with some sockets, screwdrivers, uh, some wrenches. That way you save yourself some time fooling with roll repair. You know, just keep some tools on the truck, man. Hopefully the sound's coming out. I didn't test it. I seen the blue light was on, so I kind of assumed that it was good to go. But I guess I'll see after I stop. Like I said, hopefully the audio's good. Get on to the next one. But, uh, there's a chance I still might get that same load, but I know that CM Tucker's closer. It's also, most of it's no tart, uh, no tart wood. But like I said, I could go to 100 miles and go to uh, Columbia, go to CMC Steel. But like I said, now they're hit or miss, man. They're freaking hit or miss. Uh, with being loaded. Because I think they're doing appointments now. I'm not sure. I'll check my computer here in a minute. Now, there's another thing about when you park, like I always talk about. Now, they're on the dispatcher says they start at 730, which I thought was kind of late. So, once I hear noise, like I said, I wake up, get up, start poking around. I set my alarm for six. So I had already got up anyway, and I heard the truck pull up. But like I said, he came all the way up to the front. He knew, like I said, he's seen a lot of trucks. He did the right thing because he could have, well, he still could have pulled in because that last team, the truck was in the way. But, uh, so, yeah, man, you got to go to that. I said, I think they're ready for us, man. You got to back into that gate down there. Oh, damn. All right. No big deal. But the truck behind me, he wasn't up yet. So the third truck that had to move, I told him, man, he said, thanks for waiting that driver up. I said, man, that's on you. So I don't wake up nobody. You know, it ain't nothing personal. Just like, you know, you know where you're at. You kind of know that you got to, you know, unstrap, untarp, or whatever you got to do. And you're second in line. So, like I said, set your alarm early, man. It don't hurt nothing. But well, that's that, man. So I got that back on. Like I said, five minutes if that. The video's running at seven minutes. Uh, but Fraser, Fraser Industrial Company. Throughout the interstate. If you're damn delivering, you go all the way back around to the corner, to the right. First gate. First gate on the left, not the last gate, because there's a chain on it. And like I said, what I should have done was I should have just walked up uh, to the other gate and seen you know, what the deal was. But yeah, man. Be cautious when you send the empty in early, because I'm telling you, you'll burn yourself. I've only been burned like twice. Well, it's a fault of my own. So I got the mic going, whatnot. Well, I said I got off of Amazon. It was like uh, 20 bucks, something like that. 20 bucks. Put my tools back up. Like I 
say, man, the bag, you know, I got a bag, just got random sockets. I've already had all the tools already. I just bought the bag. All right. Like I said, just, it'll just save you a headache, man. I'm waiting on roll repair just to do a mud flap or do a light or just something very simple. Right, that mud flap is a DLT violation. If you're missing on the rear, that rear flap, man. Seen a turtle going down the street yesterday. Mud flap missing. Come on, man. So you, you lost it on the way or you didn't do your pre-trip. That's why whenever I stop, whenever I stop for the you know load checks, fuel or whatever, and whenever I stop, get out the truck, walk around the trailer, walk around the trailer, walk around your equipment. You might you never know what you might miss. But got a decent sleep last night. Like I said, got up at six, was ready to go. Took most of my stuff off last night. Pulled the tarp in the morning. The driver had pulled up. He asked if I want to help. I just said, sure. I told him I appreciate it. And I returned the favor to my truck buddy that was in the back of me. Uh, that had to back up. I went ahead and helped him. I said, don't take nothing but a hot second. You know, two minutes at the most, man, help somebody do their tarps, man. I know y'all wish I shut the hell up about it, but I'm telling you, man, when you've done them enough by yourself and it's frustrating, you always appreciate the help when you get it. So I'm wondering if I'm going to get the same dispatch, same load. I won't know till here in about an hour or so uh, once my fleet manager gets in. Said, if anything, uh, if anything, I'll either get the same thing or I'll get dispatched on something else. Given the circumstances, I hope for something else. Now, given the circumstances, I would have took that damn, took that load uh, from CMC Steel. And been got on the road and got back on schedule. But it's all good, man. Exxon. We got a little bit of hot food in there. I guess they got bathrooms that people complain about. They got bathrooms and a damn liquor store right there, surprisingly. On the other side of the freeway. Probably not gonna be able to see it. But on top of that hill on the other side, like a half a mile, is another truck stop. Big old dirt parking lot. That's all we got, folks. Let's see where we're heading next, man. Alright, so one thing I had offered this morning to load, uh, Playing city. It's some uh daggone uh the uh, guardrails. Now I've been here before. It's the last time I delivered and the time before last, um the load wasn't ready. So it's a job site somewhere I've got directions. Once I get done loaded, I'm gonna give these folks a call and verify this address. All it says is I4 exit 25 and North Frontage. That's vague as hell, man. But uh Hopefully I can get a hold of somebody and let them know and they can tell me where to, to exactly where to park at so I can be ready for in the morning because they got me down for seven o'clock. Now, the damn GPS wants me to go this way. It's uh, kind of 95 and then I take, uh, I think that's, I forgot what road that is right there. Yeah, 301. Take 301 around and go down 98. Down 75. Seventy-five to, to 
to this point right here. Now, that point's wrong. I already know that it's wrong. All right. My exit should be. Bear with me for a little bit. It might, I probably won't tag on it. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, I pulled up on my phone, exit 25, and then I think I got to take a left and another left. And that'll put me right back where I'm supposed to be at, give or take by uh, the directions. Like, so I'm going to verify once um, I get loaded. Give them my idea, like, hey, I'm going to be there at this time. It says 7 o'clock, but we know how that goes. Now, I want to park up because, one, freaking middle of damn Florida. And traffic's hit or miss. Mostly miss. Now, remember last time I delivered in Plant City, I went all the way back to Jacksonville Friday, even though there is James Hardy right there. But uh, my exit, I don't think it's going to show on here. It's somewhere in this vicinity. Somewhere right there. So I'm going to call and get verification. It's like a park on the road, on the side of the road. Uh, it's probably where it's going to get unloaded and where they, they need it at. So uh, just want to be ready for the first thing and get loaded, uh, excuse me, unloaded and going about my business. Now, another thing I can do, I think there's a rest area too, right there before. Uh, right before the, uh, uh, the get off. So might do that too. That might be another option, but once I get confirmation with these folks, I'll go from there and I'll, and that's where I'll kind of just make my plans from there. All right. So I've been here since 1130, 1130, three o'clock, 1500 free military, 1500 hours free military folks. All right. So I already got contact with, uh, the site delivery person or whoever's supposed to be getting it they told me where to go so this is some janky stuff man those blue pallets i thought was metal it's actually plastic all right so i had regular edge protectors on there but when i was starting to tighten it down i didn't like how i was tightening it down or securing so i took those out and i put in my big edge protectors like i've had these probably oh, oh, well over a year and they come in for random stuff like this you know buckets plastics um bricks anything like that you know you need more surface area to be secured all right so i feel a little bit better about that so i'm definitely gonna double check those first 50 miles now they said to use chains if possible this is aluminum man you can't use no chains on this stuff all right now in theory i guess i kind of could have used an x chain that would have been better for the than the straps but it doesn't weigh that much i'll keep an eye on it like i said on my load check shouldn't rub too bad <clears throat> but it, it doesn't weigh that much you know always over secure man you can't get in trouble for over securing your load man you know i know some jars probably just throw one strap and be done with it man just put the extra strap on there it's not hurt nothing extra strap alternate your straps have a peace of mind all right got three on this so totally let's see total on the bottom it's one two three four five six seven eight nine nine straps on the bottom all right like I said, alternating straps. Edge protection on all the corners, sharp corners. Good on the paperwork. Edge protection on all the corners, alternate straps. Like I said, got this old Benson. So, had to use a two inch on the back. The rails on the back stop like right here. All right, so that would've made no sense trying to put another strap right there. But it doesn't it doesn't weigh that much total. But that's what that looks like.
So I'll get there sometime tonight. I'm hoping. Hopefully I shouldn't run into no traffic. I would hope with the hour that I'm going to be getting there. Like I said, it's kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, getting loaded so late. You know, being here for so long. So. Instead of waiting on the damn uh, paperwork, that's it. So. You know, what a fun filled day. All right, so. One o'clock, man. Now, it took forever to get loaded. It took four hours to get loaded. All right, so. Of course, I got in contact with the person <laughs> uh, for the delivery in the morning, which is supposed to be around seven o'clock. And uh, I kind of read the directions wrong. It was like, it says exit 25 in frontage road. So I took the exit and I was on the actual road. I was like, well, it says parking on the road. It's like, that can't be it. So instead of taking the exit, I'm supposed to drive past the exit and wait right here. So that took an extra uh, about 30 minutes because like I said I just reading comprehension is a mofo I said took the exit took a right and I should have looked at it on Google a little bit better but either or I still would have messed up because I needed to stay on the interstate on I-4 and then just stay here on the shoulder so it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting night that's why I came that's why I drove all the way down here now the plan was uh, I should have been around by 8 I'll say by 9 o'clock at the latest You know, but now Getting here at midnight Well, 1 o'clock in the morning You know I'm not sure how much I'm not going to get enough time back on my split, man So Hopefully I don't have to venture off too far And I'll get unloaded right here I got plenty of space to wait <laughs> I'll tell you, man, hey, some of these deliveries will be an adventure, man. No matter how much you trip plan or you try to get stuff figured out, you're going to get that curveball every now and then. But stuff like this, this is what, now, something like this, I'll try to park up. You know, traffic here in Orlando is always terrible. Well, it's Plant City, but um, still, it's all in the same area. So I'm literally right on the interstate, man. So got to say a prayer tonight, man. Make sure you no know, nobody does anything stupid and I get hit because it was four wrecks, probably five, you know, on the way down here. It's like drivers driving too fast or just in a rush or whatever, but it was five multi-car accidents, man, between 95 and I-4. It's just crazy, man. You know, but Yep, so I can only guess I don't know I hope, I hope it gets unloaded right here That's, you know That's the only thing that makes sense But I mean, who knows But enough rambling I'll Try to get some sleep it's going to be an early day tomorrow. See you in the morning.